in whatever business model you you're going to use on the online space or offline you will always need one very important thing and that one thing is a steady flow of new clients and customers that is really the most important thing for you to scale and grow your online business now the more customers you get the more successful your online business will be and without customers you have no business now there's a lot of ways of building um, a business online but most of them involve the hard to get thing which is the clients that you need to start scale and grow your business they're gonna pay your bills they're gonna pay you to continue going with your business now a steady flow of new clients and customers is the key to a successful and profitable online business unfortunately getting more clients is one of the most stressful and anxiety inducing struggles every single business owner has to actually go through now for the first thing um, that usually happens is you need to get new clients and customers consistently and you need to attract them to your business and you need to get them interested in your products and your services okay but first do you know what your ideal client is do you know what their desired outcome is and can your product or service actually satisfy their needs these are questions that you should ask yourself before you even venture out there to search for the people because people are coming to the internet to get information and if you're the person that's providing that information you become the person that they know like and trust and people like doing business with those that they know like and trust all right so the first step to a very successful marketing strategy is identifying who your ideal client is and don't make the mistake um, of marketing to everyone because not everyone is your customer all right it's one of the most common mistakes that digital marketers and online business owners make when they're marketing their pro uh, products and services to their you know potential customers they don't realize that not everyone is their customer and to have a successful online business you must target the right kind of person who's got the right kind of pain and wants to um, have a problem solved that your product can solve okay now to make sure that you're targeting the right clients for your business ask yourself this question can or who can benefit the most from my products or services all right once you know that answer you will then know exactly who to go out there and search for just think about it all right now if you're not talking to the right kind of people and your marketing message um your marketing message is not going to be effective because it will not be directed at the right people okay they don't need your solution and they don't need the goods that you're offering definitely they're not going to buy from you all right so perhaps they don't even have the problem that you want to solve so be clear on what problem you're solving and who you can solve it for and what and how you can solve it all right now in order to find your ideal client you've got to create what is called a customer avatar all right now a customer avatar is a method that's designed to help you understand your ideal client who they are where they live how old they are etc etc the more you know about your ideal client the more effective your marketing message is going to be now try and research and understand the needs the desires the pain points or the really big problems that your ideal clients have you then have to go and uncover their real pain their wants their needs and then their desires and then you proceed to the next step now this is the basic foundation of a successful marketing strategy all right so when you can describe your customers pain better than they actually can they will assume that you have the solution all right now 
Furthermore, a customer avatar can actually help you structure your marketing message and then develop your products and services so that everything is designed to fulfill the needs and desires of that target client. All right. So, um, when you fully understand your perfect client, like I said earlier, it's easier to answer the following questions and um, you can actually otherwise negatively, um, I mean, you can actually increase your own return of investment. Now, the questions that you need to ask yourself are, what type of ads do your ideal clients respond to? What language and vocabulary will appeal to them more? What traffic sources would you use to reach them? And what's their desired outcome? Okay, so in a nutshell, you should know who exactly you're talking to. You cannot scale a sale a skating board to a 90 year old using the same language you would use to a 12 year old. Okay, imagine for a moment that you only talk and do business with people who really need and want your products and are ready to buy. Isn't that what you actually want? What would that mean to your business if people are responding to your content, sharing your content and making uh, purchases? Okay, now this is the role of the first step in the online prosperity marketing blueprint where you get to know the people you're gonna be dealing with, the payoff you're gonna be giving yourself and them, and then the pain that you're solving and the product that actually solves that pain and makes these people satisfied and want more from you, okay? So the capture part, as I have mentioned, um, which is about getting the right kind of people with the right kind of pain and offering your products and services as a solution to their problem while you're increasing your income along the way. However, your product or service has to be good enough and something that people actually want to have. You don't have, um, you don't have to have something that people, um, I mean, if you don't have something that people actually enjoy or something that actually adds value to their lives, they're not going to purchase from you. Okay. Then you should, um, what I think is, if you don't have a product at the moment, if you're not providing any value, you should stop watching this video right now and go and find out um, what it is that you need to be providing to the right kind of people and what sort of product they actually want to need to, 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 to use, okay? And then come back later and don't worry, this video is not going anywhere. In fact, you should also think about the shortcomings of your product or service and don't be ashamed of them. Be honest about them and tell your customers exactly what they need to hear, all right? Let them know what you expect before they buy from you. And after you do that, you can go to the next step, which is on the Online Prosperity Blueprint System content. I'll see you in the next video.